Hi everyone, I'm David Rodriguez. Welcome to Leaning Left. I have to be honest about something. You know, as much as I uh, enjoy talking about politics, there's an area that I've never felt comfortable uh, getting to the discussion on, and that is the tensions that have existed between Israel and Palestine. Uh, it's a very complicated situation out there, and it has been for a long time. And it always felt like one of those areas where if you go into that conversation, uh, you're you're going to seem like the, the bad guy to someone. Uh, or you're just not going to understand because you're not there living the lives uh, of the people there. So I haven't talked about that much, really ever. But uh, at least uh, as I record this um, last weekend, you may know there was a terrorist attack. Hamas attacked Israel. Um, I think the number of dead now are up over a thousand. Um, really horrible attack. Uh, a lot of civilians uh, were killed or severely injured. And I was getting ready to do this video, and the day I was going to do it, a hospital uh, in Gaza was um, was destroyed, or at least mostly destroyed. A rocket hit it, and. So then I really didn't know what to say here. It's, it's one thing to be able to say, well, okay, Hamas did this terrible thing, simple as that. But I was very worried. Uh, you know, did, did Israel attack a hospital? You know, you, you wanted to, I wanted to think not. Now, as far as we know at the moment, uh, U.S. intelligence is saying that it couldn't have been Israel that did it, or at least it was highly unlikely that Israel did it. Uh, there are other theories that it may have been uh, an accidental, uh, like a misfire from Hamas, or it could have been a, another terrorist group, I believe it was Islamic Jihad. And I don't know. I, I know there's people who will doubt what the, uh, the U.S. government says, and certainly the U.S. government has in the past lied about things, unfortunately. So I don't know. And honestly, no one else does either. Uh, from this distance, you not being there... I don't have a specific reason to think uh, it was any a specific thing. I just don't know, and there needs to be evidence to prove it. And the only um, the only place I'm hearing evidence from is from a source that I'm more likely to trust than other sources. So hopefully it wasn't Israel that uh, attacked the hospital. Now, I think it goes without saying, or it should, that Israel has the right to defend itself. I know there have been a lot of things that have happened um, where... Palestine, the Palestinian people have every right, or it's very understandable why they um, would not like the uh, the government of Israel. I, I know there's a lot of things that just go back and forth. Um, but regardless of any of that, you know, attacking civilians is not an acceptable way to deal with differences. I know that's probably pretty obvious, but it, it's true. So here's where I'm kind of at with this. I know that the terrorists who did this, I have some understandable and justified retaliation coming. And what I'm seeing now are people strongly picking sides. You know, they're, they're pointing out some of the things that the Israeli government did that wasn't great, and they're saying they're going to support only Palestine. There's people who, um, of course, are like, well, this terrorist group, Hamas, kill all these civilians and so they want to support Israel very understandable obviously but I think it's important for all of us to remember before we before we jump to a side of a government or a, a terrorist group that the people of Israel aren't their government and the people of Palestine aren't Hamas now, there may be citizen, citizenry that agrees with the various not-so-great things that both sides have done. I don't know. But there's also children who don't understand any of that. I mean, there's infants, for God's sakes, on, on both sides of this, right? It's one thing to talk about what soldiers are going to do to each other. Um, you know, war is never a positive thing, I don't think. But sometimes it's it has to happen because you can't let terrorists think that they can get away with this sort of thing. But we have to have mercy, and we have to have understanding, and we have to have empathy for the citizens of those who've been hurt in Israel, 
and for those who've been hurt in Palestine. We cannot forget that these people are humans. They're human beings who've tried to live their lives and some of them are having their lives cut short uh, needlessly. Now, uh, President Biden has been in Israel and it sounds like he's doing everything he can to kind of, you know, keep things as, as, as calm as they can be, you know, making sure that people are acting out of the rational part of the brain rather than out of like rage and, and, and anger and sadness. And that's what we need to do. I'm not naive. I know that uh, in this conflict, there will probably be civilian losses. I don't think that's avoidable. But I believe that everything has to be done to make sure that those are at a minimum. And it's tough because I understand that Hamas doesn't care. It doesn't care about its own people. It's happy to use uh, Palestinians as you know human shields. And it seems to be or they seem to be pretty happy to attack civilians as well. But, you know, as President Biden said, there are rules to war. And if you do not want to be a terrorist yourself, if you don't want to fall on that side of things or act like that, that means you have to follow those rules. And so I'm sitting here holding my breath, you know, hoping but that's how this goes down and that these tragedies are kept uh, to as much of a minimum as they can. And I'm not minimizing the tragedy of war itself. <sighs> I, I'm sure I'm coming across as being unsure of my words. Um, and I know how I feel about this. I can't imagine, I can't, I can't imagine uh, having been in, in, in Israel at a music festival and having people, you know, parachute in and start shooting people around me. I can't imagine, or having someone I love at that music festival. I, I can't fathom what that must be like. It must be horrible. You know, I, I, whoever's fault the hospital thing was, that's awful on its own. But even if you're just, you know, someone living in Gaza knowing that there's likely to be a conflict and that you could be caught in the crossfire, that has to be horrible too. And so this is a tough thing. And I think everyone has a lot of strong, high emotions about this. So I guess what I'm saying, if I can try to sum this up, and I'm sorry if I've rambled, I'm, I'm just trying to speak you know, from my heart here. We need to be good to each other. We, we need to be good to each other if, you know, whether we have a connection to either of those places or we don't. We need to remember that we all care about human lives and we need to care about them whether they're people that live the same way as us or not and that we can condemn actions of groups or governments of countries if we need to without condemning the entire group of people that uh, live under those those groups I think that's that's what we have to hold on to more than anything else right now we can't let go of our humanity. We can't paint everyone with one big brush. So that's what I think anyway. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, again, I know there's a lot of strong feelings about this. I hope that if you do want to share your thoughts with me, that we can talk about this respectfully and understand where each other's coming from. I, I just feel hurt that all these people are suffering. That's where I'm at whether they're from Palestine or Israel, I just, I feel it's, it's soul crushing to think about. So, um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I would also ask the people in the comments, if you start replying to each other, try to come from a place of understanding. I mean, unless someone's really saying something awful, let's try to understand each other. Let's support each other. Let's boost each other up as this goes on and, um, you know, let's support helping people and stopping things that are clear evil. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. In the meantime, stay woke, stay vigilant, keep fighting, and remember, 
if you keep leaning left, you'll always be right.